hey, would you just settle down? You've been flopping around like a fish for, like, ten minutes. What's the matter? <sighs> Can't get comfortable. We were cuddled up just fine ten minutes ago. Then you said you were too hot and wanted to roll over, and you've been rolling and rolling ever since. Fred Durst? Surely one of the many positions you have tried now could just become comfortable if you stay still. <clears throat> I know. I, I get it. It can be hard to sleep in a place you're unfamiliar with. What's bothering you the most? The pillows? The sleeping bags? I mean, we put them together on this foam mat, so it's not the worst, but it's... I know it's no mattress. Trust me, I know. Just restless, huh? Well, I'll stay up with you. It's not a proper camping trip if we don't stay up talking at least half the night, so... We can chat until you start getting real tuckered out. Okay, all right, deal. Now, will you please decide on a position? Look, see, I'm cozy as a bug in a rug, laying on my stomach, hugging my pillow like this. Sometimes you just got to find the right thing. So, you can keep trying and figure it out, and then you'll be sorted. Oh, <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. If you want to, if you want to cuddle up to my back, sure, that's, that's fine. I'll just, uh, here. <clears throat> now, just, just settle in. <laughs> I make a good little spoon, huh? Well. Those are always handy to have on camping trips, so I guess it works. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. All right. Quit your teasing. <sighs> what do you want to talk about? <sighs> when we first met, what I think of you? Oh, all right. Sheesh. You're really asking that. A deep question right out the gate, huh? No, it's fine. All right, well. When you first came into the shop, I thought you were just a normal customer looking for a part or needing an oil change or something. And then the manager let us know that you were our new parts clerk. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, he did make that stupid little speech, didn't he? Welcome to the family of first-class auto care. I bet you it made you feel special, huh? Real welcoming until you found out he said that every single time somebody got hired. Uh. Anyway, when we first actually met and I got to talk with you a little bit, I guess the first thing I thought was you're pretty damn smart <laughs> and nice actually the genuine kind not the I need to smile for the customer because I have to kind the kind that actually wants to help the folks coming in <laughs> hey look don't go getting a big head you're still a hellhound when you want to be you remember that old lady that came in demanding that she use that oil change coupon that expired back in <laughs> What was it? Oh seven. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you'd only been with us for what a month, and she sat there arguing with you, threatening to call the owner. And <laughs> honestly, none of it made any damn sense. It's just twenty 
percent off, right? Like, what is that? That's a couple, a couple bucks. <laughs> That's right. She did. She did try to demand we put her old oil back in. <laughs> oh, she. You know, it don't surprise me. Yeah. Well, I I heard something too about old Betsy. Yeah, she shakes people down like that. Well, I'll never forget you actually looked up her info on the computer and called her husband to come get her. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he he apologized for her, but only because you were about to ban them both. <laughs> I tell you, you're a real spitfire when you get going. <sighs> All right, well, what about you? Yeah, you. What'd you think of me when we first met? And I was rugged and handsome and dangerous, right? Something like that? But dirty? Well, come on now. I'm working on cars all day. Of course I get covered in grease and oil. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you thought I had a chip on my shoulder, huh? Well, you weren't really wrong, I guess. Uh, my bark's worse than my bite, huh? Well, it's just because you never see me bite. So I wasn't too bad once you got to know me, huh? Well, I'm glad you weren't too put off by me, at least. Good to know I can charm hellhounds, too. <laughs> Why'd you want to come out here on this trip with me, anyway? You were so adamant. Is it because you wanted to spend more time with me? <laughs> oh, noticed I was getting stressed. You're too damn observant, you know that? Yeah, I guess I haven't really had the chance to recharge in a while. So that's why you kept pestering me so much? <laughs> oh, and you thought if we asked for time off together, it would be more likely to get approved because I have seniority. <laughs> You're a damn brat. Uh... You feeling better now? Getting tired? You managed to stay still longer than two minutes, so... There's progress, at least. Hey, don't worry, I'll stay up with you. I won't fall asleep until I know you're knocked out first, okay? Just close your eyes and take a deep breath. I won't let anything come in and get you. Just think about breakfast in the morning. Or what kind of birds we're going to see on the trail tomorrow. I'm right here with you. Just keep taking those nice deep breaths. and You'll be out soon enough. And if not, well, you know where to find me. Good night, Scout. Oh. <sighs> <sighs>